Okay, with these R videos, we've spent most of our time within the comfortable confines of that R GUI that's provided with R on Windows when you pre-install things. And while that is easy to show you things in, I want to get you comfortable working with R through a couple of other environments and more particularly through just your system shell, the console. So in Windows, we're going to do that with the PowerShell and it's going to look different, but don't worry, you're going to have all the same tools at your disposal. So let's take a little time getting used to this new environment. All right, so if we pop open File Manager here, and we take a look at where the R executable is installed, if you use the normal installation procedures, it's likely to be found within your Program Files folder. And if we navigate to that location, we'll see it sitting there waiting for us. Here it is. And you got the R version. That's out of date for the time being. We'll look at updating R in a later video. But you'll see if we go into this R and then the version folder, you'll have a series of folders here in front of you. And the one that we want to look at to kind of get a feel for other environments would be this bin folder for binary. And you'll notice right away here we have R and R script. So this R file is an executable, an application here, so is R script. Uh, that if we double click it, it'll open up a shell window. This is the Windows CMD application that has R already running within it. So we can do all the things we're used to doing in R. So we can plot some random numbers and it'll pop open a window for us, real convenient, real easy. That's by no means a bad way to make use of R. And if we ex issue the uh, quit command, it'll go ahead and just close that automatically for us. So that's one way to do things. The R script application down here is a command line utility for just running a file. Uh, you can call it from the shell, from other interfaces. But nothing wrong with doing this. Fine way to get at the program. I prefer to use the Windows PowerShell because it's a little bit more feature rich and it gives us uh, just even simple things like easier copying and pasting, which can be useful. So, in order to call PAR from the PowerShell, you need to take the following steps. I'm going to start and go ahead and find where the PowerShell is located. I can launch that application. This is a pretty default configuration. You should see it up here. And if you give it the path to that R executable, it'll run R within this environment. So, if you recall, that was C and program files and hit tab to autocomplete in this context. And we're going to look at R and that version folder and that binaries folder and R.exe. And that'll get R running in our PowerShell, which is where we're going to work for the future videos here. Now, uh, if you go ahead and quit out of R within here, it's not going to automatically close the window. You're just back at the shell. And if you want to kind of explore what you have going on in R here, you can look at the subfolders of that binary folder within that tree we've looked at and see what else there is. So if we look at the x64 material, you can see they have things like the Argui just sitting around in there. And if we run that, it'll actually launch a little part of that Argui application, which gives us some of the things we were used to from the previous video. So we're going to kind of move away from that GUI environment just to get comfortable with working in R from the actual shell. So if I use the up arrow to get a previous command going, Got R running within PowerShell here. We can do all the things we could do before. Just wanted to get you a notion of how this is going to look from here on out. So I will post a link to some of the Microsoft TechNet help pages about navigating your way around the PowerShell. Nothing too complicated. It uses some terminology that has more in common with things like the boring shell or the shell you'd see within Apple systems. And it's a, it's a pretty simple thing to use. So if you have questions about that, I'd tell you to head towards Microsoft, but we're going to be working with an R, not much within the cell. Just wanted to put it in front of you. So this is Ed for my bring back. Keep coming back, sticking with me. We'll get you to where you need to be in terms of data analysis and R. Subscribe on YouTube, and we promise never, ever to disappoint you.